Hello, and thank you for spending some of your very valuable time with me today. I know each one of us are busy and have a lot to do, but this is a very important situation that I'd like to talk to you about. It's personal to me, and you may ask why it's personal. Many of you may know I have a son who has a severe disability, and I've watched as he's gone through his life, sometimes being totally included, and sometimes being totally excluded. So today I want to talk about something that's very important, once again, to me individually and to us as a team and the success of our company. It's really important that each one of us as individuals feel like we belong to our team and feels welcome, whether it's a guest at our store, uh, whether you work at retail, here in the, in the corporate office or in our distribution center. You're an important part of our team. Uh, no matter your age, your gender, your race, your religion, what football team you uh, cheer for, everyone needs to be included as part of our team. You may ask, why are we concentrating on this effort at this time? We've had some instances in our company where we've fallen short. I call these blind spots. I don't know if you have ever been behind a big truck and you see a sign on the back that says, if you can't see my mirrors, I can't see you. We call that a blind spot. And I understand everyone's trying to do the best they can and these blind spots are kind of inadvertent situations. But I want you to understand the reason we're going through this educational process. It's not to fulfill some legal obligation. It's not to occupy time. It's not a program that uh, we can say to our fellow warehouses that we have and they don't. This is sincerely about helping each one of us uh, become be better individuals and better team members. Each one of us can do better. I surely know I can do better uh, in assuring that everyone is included as a part of our team. Most importantly, it's the right thing to do. And at Associated Food Stores, that's part of our values is integrity and doing the right thing. So as we ed uh, engage in this educational process, there's a few things I'd like you to remember. First. We need to be respectful of everyone in our organization. Now granted, we're going to have different opinions, but let's don't argue about those opinions. Let's consider that that's how people feel, uh, truly feel and respect their ideas and learn from those. Let's have discussions, not arguments. Second. You may have some difficulty in maybe understanding what we're really trying to accomplish here. That's okay. This can be a complex uh, subject. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your leader. You're always welcome to discuss uh, things with me. If you have con uh, questions or ideas on um, what can help us get better. And finally, I really encourage you to share your thoughts. That's part of inclusion, is being able to listen, being able to respond in a respectful way. So whether you have opinions or questions about what we're trying to do here, uh, what we're trying to do is spark conversation and share ideas to help each one of us get better, because as each one of us get better, our organization will get better. Again. Thanks for your time today. I know you're busy. Appreciate all you do. And once again, look forward to learning and growing together.